Hi, I'm Patrick Bearer with Seiden Group, and I'm really excited about the video today. I've been meaning to, to do this video for a long time. And what we're going to talk about is the DB2 for IBM I extension for VS Code, and specifically talking about a few different en enhancements to the select statement that we can use to get a CSV, a JSON, or to update the data. So let's just jump right in and take a look at this in action. So here is my DB2 for I. Uh, uh, extension here. I'm going to start a new SQL job. I'm already connected to an IBM I. If you don't see the DB2 for I, go ahead and connect to your IBM I. I have a, an SQL job running now. I'm going to be using the sample database. And if you haven't already created the sample database, you can use this SQL statement, QSYS create SQL sample. And then in the parameter here, you identify the library or schema where you want to create the sample database. So I've already done this and I created a library or schema called sample. And what I want to do is I want to select all from sample employee. The employee is one of the, the sample tables that we have in the sample database. So here's a list of all 42 of the employees. And so this is kind of really cool but you know not terribly exciting where it gets really interesting is if you wanted this data as a CSV you can simply put CSV colon and run it and now I have that data from the employees as a CSV file and I can save this as let's just put it in temp employees dot CSV so now I have a CSV file if I want a JSON, which I often do, I can just put JSON in the front, right? JSON colon select statement, and there is my JSON. So I can save this as employees.json, right? And then the last thing that I wanted to show is instead of CSV or JSON, we can put update in here and this will open up all of the results and I'm going to control B to hide the activity over there and what we can do now is click on any of these fields and update it right from VS Code right so now uh, Christine has has 20 years of education instead of just 18 and we'll run another select statement here just to prove that it did in fact keep the the update so that's it i just wanted to show those really quick you can run select statements in vs code which is really cool uh, but if you need a csv or if you need json oops json or you can select for update with just putting the colon in there we'll put this back down to 18. whoops we will put this back down to 18. There we go. So that's it for this video. And uh, we looked at the CSV, the JSON, and the update, and the awesomeness of DB2 for IBMI extension. So thank you very much. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time.